بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Assalamualaikum and welcome to A Noor The Light. My name is Maria Mukwanda. Assalamu alaikum and I'm Zahir Basa. A new season beckons and we're excited to join you, the team and a very successful program right here on SABC3. Time waits for no man, as the saying goes. And this week we're kicking off our show with a young man who has made quite a name for himself. Kari Ziad Patel has drawn vast numbers of people to the mosque with his melodious recitals. And we have traveled to the city of gold in Johannesburg to learn more about this incredible human being. Giving melody to the ancient text of the Holy Quran takes great skill and South Africa is blessed to have many Qaris or reciters as they are more commonly known. Ever since I was a young child, I was really pretty much mesmerized and taken aback by the beautiful recitations of the various Qurra that frequented the shores of South Africa. And as a young child, I would say that the seeds of love for the Quran Kareem were already planted into my heart. And that motivated me to go and venture into the field of the Quran Kareem, in learning the Quran Kareem, and thereafter try to, ma to master the sciences of reciting the Quran Kareem. This young man has dedicated his life to serving his creator, not only as a Muslim scholar, but as a humanitarian. He works with the global Al-Imdad Foundation and is often called away when disaster strikes. When I started university, I was part of a, a group of people that who decided to do something with regards to relief work. All of us were quite pretty much set I was in university, my colleagues were already in their businesses and they were also professionals as well. And we decided to bring together our expertise to see how we could uh, help humanity and how we could better uh, humanity and looking at poverty alle alleviation and so forth. That has been a part of my life that I would say that was not tapped into. And at that time, alhamdulillah, when the opportunity arose, I then realized, okay, alhamdulillah, uh, I also have a strong humanitarian streak within me and that is where it all arose, alhamdulillah. This was some 13 to 14 years back. From conflict zones to places hit by famine or natural disasters, Kari Ziad Patel is always on hand to deliver aid and a helping hand. During the recent conflict in Syria, this young man braved the bombs and bullets to ensure people receive help and much-needed medical supplies. My profession is an international projects coordinator, a humanitarian projects coordinator. I go to disaster zones to help facilitate humanitarian aid or to oversee uh, uh, relief projects. This is what I do and this is what I'm qualified to do. So alhamdulillah, I have the opportunity to visit many a countries sadly, which have been struck by various disasters. Like just recently, I returned uh, from uh, Syria and whilst on the, uh, in the refugee camps in Syria, I realized that children at times lack love. They lack love and they depend, they, they depend on us as elders to give them that, that, that love, that humanitarian love, that touch, that humanitarian touch. And I think this is something which has really bonded me towards children knowing that these are innocent children and they got to go through so much in their young lives. It's not only internationally that he jumps in to assist. The saying, charity begins at home, rings true for Kari's yard. One of the many local projects he assists on is an orphanage that is just on the road from his house. 
They say charity begins at home. And we have many projects. The Al Imdad Foundation has many projects here in South Africa. And it's very much important for me to also assist with those projects. And on a yearly basis, we have on an annual basis, we have the Operation Winter Warmth, where I play a very much active role. We have the Slice for Life project. So I would not say that our humanitarian work is only focused internationally. It is first and foremost focused at home and thereafter internationally. His first love remains the Holy Quran, and as a young boy, he was influenced by listening to recitals of past great Qaris. Ziyad sought to emulate these masters of the Quran and spent the better part of his youth learning at the feet of some of the most famous reciters. I always loved to recite the Quran Karim and I was very much taken aback by the various Qurra and the various reciters from Egypt. And thereafter, at the age of 16, Alhamdulillah, I went to Egypt and I spent some time there under various shuyukh and under various teachers of the Quran Karim, trying to gain uh, the expertise and, the, and trying to use my talent to recite the Quran Karim correctly, number one, and secondly, uh, very, very much beautifully. I returned home and thereafter I went under the feet and the wings of none other than uh, Qari Ayyub Ishaq who is a very senior Qari in South Africa. Uh, many Qurra have come under him, many Qurra have come through his hands and uh, Alhamdulillah I had the opportunity to become one of his students and thereafter I just felt that boost uh, to another level with regards uh, to reciting the Quran Karim and uh, beautifying the words of the Qur'an and the words of Allah Ta'ala Azza wa Jal. One of the more popular forms of expressing oneself musically in Islam is the nasheed. Kari Ziyad Patel undertook to write and perform his own nasheeds. After realizing that I could recite the Qur'an Karim a bit beautifully, I decided to then venture out and do something on the nasheeds. Because I had a lot of friends around me who actually who pushed me and motivated me and said to me that perhaps we need some Islamic Sharia compliant content which perhaps you could produce with your voice and that nurtured me to go into the field of nasheeds. Some nasheeds uh, are traditional nasheeds and alhamdulillah uh, we thank Allah Ta'ala Azza wa Jalla that we have that kind of material before us. But at times uh, our hearts are emotionally charged and we are emotionally charged and that uh, motivates us to go ahead and try and write some of our own material to portray what's on our minds and hearts. I would say that uh, my, uh, my nasheeds are a mixture of both, some traditional and some of my own. And uh, yes, at times, whatever the current situation is, we try uh, to put that onto our voices and try to portray that out as a thought for people who are listening out there. South Africa are well known for their activist and humanitarian work and Kari Ziyad Patel joins a growing list of people who are making this country a better place through their service to communities.